And that gentleman is Scrum. But... I know every one of these people <laughs> from every job I've ever been at. It's a Unix system. Is it a Unix system? I have no idea. <laughs> We're Steven and Jacob, the co-founders of Exponent. We're your source for getting your dream job in tech, and today we're going to talk about tech and products in film and TV, what they got right, and more fun, what they didn't. All right, first up, Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley's got to be one of those popular tech-centric TV shows of all time, even if you're not in tech. Uh, so we can't avoid it. We got to do it. So from rules-based filtering, we go to workflow, at which point that card is moved from the ice box into the in-progress column, and it stays there until it is ready for testing. Okay, this increases visibility into our team's progress. And that gentleman is Scrum. Welcome to the next eight weeks of our lives. This just became a job. Thoughts on Scrum? Silicon Valley is like annoyingly, painfully realistic in the sense that like they nailed every single character. Like, like, even though I know every one of these people <laughs> from every job I've ever been at. So yeah, it's not an exaggeration to say that like everything we know about tech is in Silicon Valley. Like it has to be covered. We're gonna work at night. It, to me, it's not even a parody. It's like it's literally sure. just like a, a encyclopedia of things that happen <laughs> in tech. You know, and so. Yeah. Yeah, this Maybe seems super realistic to me. Just... But yeah, like at, at its core, Scrum is a management system. It helps people accomplish to-dos and kind of what they were showing in this video is like two engineers did the exact same thing because they weren't coordinating between each other. So what makes you a value to the Pi Piper team? Um, programming, I guess. Pretty good at code. So a couple classic mistakes here already so far. One, <laughs> he was like asking what value you add to the company. He was like, oh, just programming, which is just your job, which... I don't know, it's kind of a tough question. Uh, develop algorithms, so forth. Different from the type of algorithm Richard created? Well, yeah, like, not as good. Uh, <laughs> Richard's a 10 or I'm like barely an Xer. There's a very common mistake in interviewing where you <laughs> say, yeah, we right. worked on this instead of I worked Richard on this in behavioral interviewing. Together, you know? And I think that's kind of right. evidence the point. He's like, oh yeah, Richard you built this algorithm, algorithm, but didn't Richard do all the work yes. for it? Oh yeah, I had nothing to do with that. Uh, yeah, I think unfortunately this is like not really what an interview would look like for a software engineer either in terms of uh, just sort of talking about it rather than sort of demonstrating it. There's also some inside baseball here. It's kind of funny, like talking about 10x versus x engineers, sort of talking about like the effectiveness of an engineer. And it's kind of a mythical thing. I mean, I do not get why anyone would use spaces over tabs. I mean, why not just use Vim over Emacs? <laughs> I do use Vim over Emacs. Oh, God help us. <laughs> <laughs> so which one's the answer? Spaces. You think it's spaces? Spaces. I think it's definitely tabs. Yeah. This is, believe it or not, like a real debate or like a real uh, holy war, like in programming, um, in terms of like not only tabs versus spaces, but he's sort of alluding to like the editors that people choose and sort of the perceived status of using certain things. Yeah, realism. Uh, yeah, realism is five out of five for that. Mr. Theodore Twombly, welcome to the world's first artificially intelligent operating system. How would you describe your relationship with your mother? Oof. Thank you. Hello, I'm here. What's genius about this movie is Hi. it sort of really like Hi. taps into I'm that uh, question morning, of like Peter. the way we connect morning. through technology. It's also cool to remember morning. how far we've come Try since then. You know, this movie came out before funny. Alexa <laughs> was a thing, funny. before Google Home was a thing. So what was it like being married? There's something that feels so good about sharing your life with somebody. How do you share your life with somebody? I think it's a really interesting question too, is like, is he alone is kind of like the question. All these companies have released different types of bots that you can interact with. There's even in the mental health world, there's lots of like therapy bots that you can talk to to kind of get counseling and support. Maybe it's not strange to kind of be alone and have all these friends that you have that aren't real. But I, I technologically, I don't know that we're that far from this, like in some of these use cases. Mr. Sav Wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. Your ownership share diluted down to 0.03%. There are some shady things that happen sometimes in companies' growth. All I can say is like recommend making sure you consult with a lawyer before you sign any of these documents because it, it is pretty brutal. Sometimes people, especially early on, would work mostly for equity and then to see it all being taken away 
it is just kind of brutal and it does happen sometimes i think you're a great salesman but it's too late for you guys everything's computerized and you're dinosaurs i actually worked at google so this is a really funny video to watch always because people always ask me especially for like five years after i worked at google oh is it like the internship is it like what happened in the internship and so we'll talk a little bit about the realism of that some web you could go to things in and search for answers your interns yeah Shut up. deal with it you're so old though you know what Launch just quickly those hats are real that's a real thing those nugler hats everyone gets them when they join the company and they have the little propellers on them the interns are really young and the company is really young and i think they even had a group within google called Greyglers that were a support group for people who are older uh, than a certain age range because it was so uncommon to have older people at the company. And I think, sadly, some ageism kind of emerged from that. I was an intern as a product manager at Google, and then I converted to the full-time role. So then I ended up being full-time. Um, definitely no competition, things like this, to stay as an intern or to be successful. It's a little bit of an exaggeration. I don't know. I think it captures maybe the, the spirit or the gist of like tech culture, but maybe not uh, the most accurate. Uh, the actual day-to-day -day does not look like anything what they had there. But I do think the kind of office scenes and the clothes that people wore pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was like the like the boomer's impression of what tech is like. I've never actually seen the full movie, but I'll give the trailer a three out of five. Yeah. It's a unique system. I know this. One of the worst tech scenes of all time. <laughs> Um, she says this is a Unix system, and then she shows this entirely unrealistic, like, 3D rendering of a file <laughs> system. Um, but it makes for great TV. Is it a Unix system? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you had as much fun as Jake and I did. If you want to check out more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube, and you can get videos like this every week.